Building a website is exciting and fun. It's your new business, it's your home base, it's where you send people to buy your product. But just like building a real house, if you mess up the foundation, things can get messy and expensive. Today, we're diving deep into seven costly mistakes I see on way too many websites all the time. Getting these things wrong can tank your traffic, you'll lose customers, and honestly, just waste a lot of effort. We wanna avoid all that. So I'm gonna show you exactly what to do. I'm gonna show you what to avoid and then walk you through seven beautiful Wix websites to show you how you can do this on your website and get it set up quickly. Seriously, as we go through these, just look at how beautiful, incredible these sites are and how intuitive they are. They look really nice, really easy to use, and really modern. And the coolest part is you don't even have to be a coding wizard to get a site like this. All right, let's jump into it. Mistake number one, a poor navigation. Imagine walking into a giant department store, desiring to find a specific item, but nothing is anywhere to be found. No signs, and everything is just thrown around somewhere. It's gonna be really hard to find what you're looking for. And this is the same thing for your website. If visitors land on your site and they can't figure out where to go, in like five seconds, they're gone. You need a clear, logical menu that keeps things simple. About, services, contact, nothing confusing. Take a look here. This is a very clear website. You see features, pricing, resources, and a very clear call to action button. A clear call to action tells people what you want them to do next. Even if they're not ready to do it, it gives them clarity on what the next step is. Alongside that, we have all the core pages we need on the navigation. The goal is you wanna think about the customer journey, where people start and where you want them to go, and you wanna guide them on that journey with your navigation. Next up, slow site speed. This one drives me crazy. We live in a fast world. If your website takes a long time to load, I would imagine a lot of people are gonna leave before they even see your offer. And one of the core things to focus on would be something called core web vitals. And this is something that Google uses to measure a website. And so you can see here on my screen, I have this demo website up in Wix that I love. It's a beautiful website. And then here, this is their website added into Google's PageSpeed Insights which tests their performance. And you can see here, Core Web Vitals, it passed with flying colors. It's doing really, really well in terms of the user experience. Now, I won't get into the jargon here of what largest content paint means, content full paint, all that. None of that matters right now, but passing Core Web Vitals is huge. And again, it's a beautiful site, really, really elegant, well laid out content. Everything just feels really, really premium. It's a great site, great experience, and it loads fast. Let me refresh, look at that. Just like that, it loads right away, literally without even thinking twice. And this is actually one thing I really like about Wix is their site speed is phenomenal. When it comes to Core Web Vitals and passing Core Web Vitals, they do a great job. They make things fast and you don't have to think about any of the technical backend. They do everything for you as you get started. Quick pause, since Wix is sponsoring this, they've hooked it up for you. If you're thinking about building your own site, an awesome, beautiful, fast website, check out the link down below. There's a special promotion just for you. Seriously, check it out and let's get to number three. Mistake number three, and this is huge guys, if your site is not mobile friendly. Think about how often you go on your phone to search for something on a website. This is the same for your visitors. If your website looks wonky, looks hard, it's hard to read, it's hard to navigate on a phone or a tablet, you're basically losing out on most of your audience. So this is the desktop version of this website. And as you can see, it's beautiful. It's a really elegant experience. It looks really, really nice. When you go into a mobile experience here, the same thing. It's just a beautiful site, beautiful experience. Everything lays out really well. You even have this like back to the top button so it can take you back to the top of your page. You got the mobile navigation. Everything is just really, really nice for this website. And Wix makes it really easy for you to customize the desktop and the mobile feel so you have a site that you love. Again, this is not optional. In today's world, this is essential. All right, mistake number four, ignoring SEO. 
Now, you can have the most drop dead gorgeous website on the planet, but if nobody could find it, if they do a basic search on any search engine, it's likely to be like a billboard in the desert. It's somewhat pointless. But having a clean website like the one you're looking at on my screen and you decide, hey, I wanna use this website, build a site like this, you wanna make sure that it's gonna be SEO friendly. And Wix actually has fantastic built-in SEO tools that make you a genius when it comes to SEO without having to get into any of the technical jargon. So make sure you think about that as you get started. And mistake number five, this comes down to poor visuals. Just taking a look at my screen right now, you're gonna see really beautiful imagery. And if your site has blurry, pixelated images, they're just not high quality, it leads to a sense of being untrustworthy. And the more your graphics, visuals, photos are modern and have a nice touch, invest in it because the more it's beautiful and engaging, the more people are gonna to wanna to engage with your business. Your photos and visuals are a clear way of people knowing I'm gonna get what I want from this company. And so as you take a look here, as I scroll, it's just a really beautiful site and experience. And one thing I have not said in this video yet, but all of these sites that you're looking at are templates that are free on Wix that you can start with to build your website. So definitely check out that link down below. But this is just elegant, beautiful, it feels really, really nice. Sections like this just really pop when you're on a clean website and experience. Now, number six, we got two more. If you have poor call to actions, your site is gonna be confusing. Now I mentioned this at the beginning of the video, but when someone lands on your site, what do you want them to do next? What do you want them to take action on? Is it filling out a form? Is it buying a product? Is it something else? You wanna make it as clear as day what that next step is and have that next step repeat throughout your site. So in a case like this, I'm looking at this website and they have two clear call to actions, which is get a free estimate. And even this chat feature, it says, let's chat. So whatever you want to do, you know that they have a clear call to action on what you'll do next. As you scroll through, you'll be able to see other parts of their website, go to services. And then again, it's really clear, get an estimate. You want to point people to the same call to action throughout your website. And that's what we call the main call to action. You might have transitional call to actions, which are learn more, uh, go to our about page, any of those things. But if it doesn't lead them to their final action, then it isn't necessarily the main call to action. So some call to actions to consider, download now, get started today, buy now, anything like that. Wix has a ton of button styles that you can use to really make it pop, but don't leave your visitors guessing. And finally, mistake number seven. This is a big one as well. I think all of these are big, but this one is big as well. An inconsistent brand and feel to your website. Your website needs a vibe and personality. This comes down to consistent colors, fonts, and even the voice of how you write everything on your site. If your homepage looks super sleek and modern, but your about page doesn't, or it needs a fresh tune-up, this is something you really want to pay attention to. Stick to a style guide, even a simple one. Choose a color palette you love and font pairs that you love and use it on your entire site. If you take a look here, this site is a great example of that. It's profound in terms of the color and contrast. The blue is very vibrant, but it's very, very clear. And then when you get into the site, it just continues to resonate a really nice brand just with a few simple things. Wix does all the hard work for you as well, but I would say that it makes it really easy for you to have a beautiful site and be able to make it consistent across all your pages. So if I go to bio here, you're gonna see consistent feel. I still feel I'm on the same website. If the next page felt like this, it would feel like a different site. And so we wanna make sure that the whole site feels consistent across the board. 
Avoid these pitfalls is key to creating a website that not only looks great, but actually works for you, tracks visitors, prompts them to action, and achieves the goals of your business. Again, if you wanna get started with Wix, I think it is a great platform to get all of these benefits without the hassle of trying to figure out what you need for your website. It's intuitive, it's drag and drop, it has SEO features built in, you could add call to actions the way you like, all of that. So definitely check out the link down below to get started with Wix today. Today. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.